everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i am going to be trying a brand new product from kiara sky this is their brand new flex gel and i cannot tell you how excited i am for this launch it is going to be launching today, June 9th, so by the time I upload this video, it will be available to purchase on the Kiara Sky website. They also do have a few bundles available as well. They have a chrome and flex gel bundle and a flex gel and the flash cure LED lamp bundle. If you do want to purchase those bundles, they will actually be discounted 15% off, so I think that is a great deal, especially if you want to get a flash curing lamp or if you want to get a chrome powder with the flex gel. So like I said, this flex gel is a brand new release to the Kiara Sky website. They have definitely been keeping it under the wraps and it's finally time to unveil the newest innovation product which is this flex gel and like I said, I am so excited for this launch. You can literally do so much with this flex gel. A few ways that you can use this product is for 3D art or a molding gel. You can also use this to adhere rhinestones. It is great for carving, jelly tip application, and literally so much more. You can make 3D charms with this. You can mix in glitter or dried flowers or rub it in chrome powder and do the viral 3D chrome trend. You can also dip it in like to a pigment powder and get a very pigmented gel that you can use to create custom charms or just do again a 3D design on your nails. But honestly, I was most excited to use this product to adhere jelly tips. I love gel extensions, gel X nails, and I always love a good solid glue gel. So I was very excited for this product for using it in that way. Of course, I do also want to try this product in other ways as well, such as the 3D Chrome Trend. I also would love to mix it in with like some glitter or dried flowers and just really create some cute custom charms. So like I always say, Kiara Sky literally has the cutest packaging, the overall the small little box, and then the packaging of the actual flex jar container here. I just love it so much and something I do want to just say, like give a little disclaimer, is I actually already have used this product because I film content for my Instagram. If you aren't following me over there, definitely make sure you go follow me because I do post some other nail tutorials and nail sets over there that I don't get to post on my YouTube but I did just want to say that for the fact that it wasn't sealed when you do actually receive the product it is going to have a seal on it you can also see some bubbles in the product as well and when you receive your product more than likely there isn't going to be any bubbles like that because I was kind of like playing with it and really showing off the texture of this product that is the reason why there's no seal and there is also bubbles in my product now of course when you have this product and you are going to be using this product you're not really going to be playing in it like it's play-doh or stretching it or playing with it like it's clay you are going to either use it to adhere your jelly tips using it to cure on some rhinestones or of course if you're using it for the 3d um, chrome design or anything like that you are going to pull out the amount that you're going to be using and playing and molding around with that specific amount of gel I do not recommend mixing or playing with the entire gel the flex gel in the container there because you will get bubbles in your product and that is just going to make it difficult to apply jelly tips or you are just going to have bubbles in your product but of course again that is all because I was just playing and stretching and really showing the overall consistency of the product because I wanted to show you guys how you can stretch how you can mold that it is a very thick gel 
and I did just want to mention that and kind of give a little disclaimer because I didn't want you guys to think that the product was going to have a bunch of bubbles in it. When I received the product and removed the seal, it was crystal clear. There was no bubbles and I just, I wanted to play with it so bad and I'm happy that I did get to play with it a little bit to really show you guys the consistency and that it is a really thick gel. This product is a gel, of course, by the name Flex Gel, so you will need to cure it in an LED UV nail lamp, but there is one good pro to that, and that is actually you can mess around. You can have the all the time that you need to get the perfect sculpting and details and just molding it and everything like that. You don't have to rush. You can take your time, and once you're ready, you will then be able to cure the product. The product also stays in place really nicely, and I was able to find that out today since I did use it to apply soft gel nail tips. I didn't have to hold my nail tip in place. I was able to put it in place on my natural nail and cure it in the nail lamp without needing to hold the nail tip in place, which I thought was very convenient. It also was a very thick gel, and I just love that about this brand new Flex Gel product. Before I actually start doing the nails and really trying the product, I do quickly want to mention that the container for this Flex Gel product is actually a pretty small container. It is a 5 gram container and I feel like if you're using it to apply rhinestones or apply your jelly tips or doing small little 3D charms or anything like that, the product is going to last you, but if it becomes a favorite product, you're using it over and over again, you are definitely going to run out pretty quick, I feel. I mean, I didn't use too much product and I have done two different nail sets with it, including this one here, and I still have a lot of product in there. But with it being a five gram container, my fingers are definitely crossed that they either release a larger size. Another thing that I'm my fingers are crossed for is that they release different colors, either like pinks, nudes, some with glitter or dried flowers, or I'm just hoping for more because I truly, really, really love this product and would just love to see a larger size or more colors in this product. So now let's go ahead and actually try out this product and apply some medium almond jelly tips. I'm using basically the jelly tip starter kit from Kiara Sky. I sized out my nail tips. I also am going to be using step one and step two and of course the flash cure mini lamp as well. Starting off with a little bit of nail prep here, we're basically doing, well we are doing the exact same nail prep we would do if we're just using all of the products from the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Kit or you're just doing gel extensions. There really isn't going to be anything different here. So I started off with pushing back my cuticles. That is a very crucial and important step. I'm also going in with this cuticle ball bit, which is also from Kiara Sky. It is always linked down below in my frequently used products. I love this drill bit so much. You can see me here taking it on my skin. I'm keeping it on a speed of around 4,000 RPM and I am just cleaning up my cuticle and it is so amazing how good this cleans up your cuticle. You can put it on your skin. You're not going to get a burning or like a tingly feeling. It isn't going to cut you. It is a safety bit which allows you to use it on your skin and really take it up on that cuticle. The reason I say this is so beginner friendly, it's a great drill bit to have, is because you can, you can use this to clean up your cuticle and you don't have to really worry about going in with cuticle nippers. Now I will go in with cuticle nippers just to further remove any cuticle or any extra product on my nail plate but of course if you are worried or don't want to go in with cuticle nippers I highly recommend picking up that cuticle ball bit it can definitely be a lifesaver especially for making your nails last and really getting a clean finished look result in the end 
So I also went in with a buffer just to remove the shine from my natural nail plate. You aren't really doing any filing there. You just want to remove the shine. That way you have a buffed nail surface. Kiara Sky also did recently release their small mandrel drill bit. Mine is on the way and I am so excited for that. It is just going to make applying jelly tips a hundred times easier and just having a small mandrel it is going to save my life i will also link that down below as well i haven't tried it yet but i just know it is going to be so freaking good and so helpful but i also went in like i said with my cuticle nippers just to remove any more dead cuticle and now i am going in with the jelly tip liquid step number one and step number two to dehydrate my nail bed removing any excess oils letting that air dry and then going in with the primer to prime my nails to help the jelly tip get a better bond and adhesion to my natural nails. Now I am taking a gel base coat and I am just going to apply a layer of this to all of the nails. If you specifically don't have a base coat but purchase the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips Starter Kit, you can of course just use step number three, the builder gel, and use that as your gel base. I went ahead, applied that to all of the nails, and did my 30 second cure in the nail lamp, and here are how the nails are looking. Of course, like I always say, all of that was just for educational purposes. Off camera, I did go ahead and apply my peel off base coat because I will need to be doing more nail sets, so applying the peel off base coat will allow me to pop the nails off easier. Now, of course, if you want your nails to last, if you want that longevity, you would just follow the prep steps and and skip the peel off base coat. So now I'm going in here and actually trying the Flex Gel product. So this is not my first time using this product. Like I said, I did actually use this product for some content that I posted on my Instagram. And I love the product the first time I used it. I love the product the second time I use it, used it. And I will continue to love this product. I think it is an amazing solid glue gel to apply your jelly tips. And I honestly want to give the 3D chrome nails a second try. My first attempt was a fail, but I feel like using this product, it is going to be so much easier and turn out so much better. So let me know in the comment section if you guys would also love for me to try this flex gel doing the 3D chrome trend or using neon pigments something like that let me know down below i would love to do it because honestly i love this product so much when i run out i'm definitely going to restock on this product it made it so so easy applying my jelly tips i just scooped some out i put it in the jelly tip i did use a cuticle pusher just to kind of help me out a little bit but truly it was such an easy and fun process very beginner friendly if you have troubles with like using a gel in a bottle I recommend getting a solid glue gel specifically this one I just thought it made it so easy and of course I'm being transparent with you guys and really giving my honest how I actually feel about the product like I always do but I'm on the third nail here you can see this is not sped up and we're going right in you can also see that the nail tip stays in place I don't have to hold it in place. I could have actually applied all of the nail tips and did one cure, but just to make myself feel a little bit safer about not bumping the nails or anything like that, I did go ahead and do about a 50 second or a 15 second cure, excuse me, um, for each nail. And then once I had all of the nails on, I did go ahead and do a 30 second cure. One thing I do want to mention is normally when I'm using a solid glue gel product, I do get a couple little heat spikes, but I didn't get any heat spikes at all with this product, and I felt like that was really nice because on a few of the nails, I did use a little bit too much product, but I still didn't even get any heat spikes. Of course, using this product will be a learning curve on how much you need to use, but the more you use it, the more you'll get better with it, and I feel like even the first time you use it it is still going to be a breeze and just an easy product to work with 
So once I had all of the nails applied, I was so happy with how they were looking. Also, just how easy the overall process was. I'm now going in with a little bit of filing for these jelly tips. I used a hand file to crisp up the shape. I'm also going in with another one of my absolute favorite drill bits, a must-have drill bit to add to your collection. This is the 5-in-1 Pro or 5-in-1 drill bit from um, Kiara Sky as well. It is always linked down below in the description box under frequent used products because I use it almost every single time I'm doing my nails. It is perfect for acrylic, it is perfect for jelly tips, poly gel, dip powder, really anything you want to use this drill bit for. It is perfect to seal the cuticle and I love it so much. I absolutely love using it to seal my jelly tips. It helps remove any excess gel product. It also helps just to get that perfect clean sealed flushed cuticle. I also will go in with my buffer just to buff the shine from the nail tip and then I will take my dust brush to remove any of the nail dust. So I know I have been talking the entire video so far but something I do want to mention because I do feel it is very important because this flex gel is a gel product I 100% recommend that you do not touch it with your bare skin. Um, if you're going to touch it like I was definitely want to wear a glove or use Use a cuticle pusher or just use a different tool to touch the product. Again, it is a gel product, so uncured gel can be very unsafe for you to touch with your skin. So that is kind of just something that I recommend to you guys, not touching it with your skin. Of course, once the gel product is fully cured, it is fine, but when you're rolling it or touching it in your fingers, I definitely would not recommend that. So now let's go ahead and jump into doing some nail designs. So I decided that I wanted to do some fun jelly nails today. So what I did is pulled out a palette and I put little blobs or amounts of the step number three, the builder gel, and I just put four different spots on the palette. And then I pulled out some of the new Kiara Sky Diamond FX Brights collection. And I pulled out five colors to begin with, but I actually only ended up using four of them. A pink, a kind of like a yellowish green, a blue, and then I believe I decided to go with the orange instead of the purple. But mixing a little bit of these in with the clear builder gel is just going to create a very neon bright jelly color but it's also going to have glitter in it and these were so stunning they were a beautiful glass gel with glitter neon bright colors I was loving them and it is super easy to mix up your own custom jelly colors if you have never done this before I highly recommend trying it. You can also just use a regular top coat or a base coat. Pretty much any clear gel will work. I personally like using a thicker gel though. That way I don't thin out the gel polish too much, making it very hard to apply. But using the builder was absolutely perfect. And just look at these colors. Um, when I do apply them, I apply them very thin, basically because we have the clear base in there. So when you create your own jelly color, you may have to build it up a little bit to get the color you want. Or you can also just go in and add a little bit more of the actual gel polish color. I'm sure that all makes sense, but for these nails, I did actually go in with three thin coats of gel polish, showing two on camera and then off camera. I just went in with a third coat to really make the colors look vibrant, but to still keep the jelly glass look because that's what I was really shooting and aiming for. So all of the nails are going to be a different color except for the thumb, which I did that one off camera to get some Instagram content, but that one I'm going to be using up the rest of the yellow just so I don't have to waste any of the product. But I did my first coat, I cured for 30 seconds, and then now I am just going in with my second coat.
So here are the nails with three coats. Like I mentioned, I did two on camera and one off camera. The nails were looking so beautiful. I loved the color choices. And now I'm just going in with a little bit of fun summer nail art. So basically just something to bring the nails to life and not just have them be plain colorful nails, which would also be very cute. But I just wanted to do something a little bit more. So I pulled out a white and a yellow and I'm going to be doing some white and yellow daisies on the nails, some four pointed stars, and also just some other dots to fill in the space, keeping it a very simple beginner friendly nail set, but still doing something that makes it look like the nails took you forever and just look like you just walked out of the salon even though you're doing your own nails at home saving money and saving time honestly. So for the nails I will just work on one nail at a time doing the flowers and the four pointed star. For the flowers I just use a dotting tool. I put four dots and then I go in the center with a yellow dot. For the four pointed stars I put one dot and then use a liner brush to draw out the actual star part and then for the dots very simple. I just go around and fill in any empty space with some different sized dots. I will go ahead and cure that nail for 30 seconds in the nail lamp and then I'll go ahead and move on to the next nail. Because I really don't feel like I have to explain much more, I am just going to go ahead and let the rest of the nail art play out. I did leave it in real time for you guys so you can see the true process of everything coming together. But before I go, I do have a huge announcement. I want to let you all know that I am now officially a brand ambassador for Kiara Sky. I cannot believe it. It has been my dream ever since I really started doing YouTube and seeing all of the different nail brands. I have always wanted to work with Kiara Sky and I am so happy and I feel so accomplished now that I can officially say that I am a brand ambassador for Kiara Sky. So if you don't really know about the Kiara Sky affiliate or program, they do have different tier levels. I started off on the first tier and then I moved up and now officially I am considered a Kiara Sky brand ambassador. I am so thankful. I am so blessed. And honestly, I wouldn't be in this position without you guys. So I do want to give a big thank you to every single one of you for all of the support and just coming along with me on this journey. I also want to give a thank you to Kiara Sky. I really can't thank you guys and Kiara Sky enough because this is a huge accomplishment for me. I feel so amazing, so blessed, and I just really cannot believe it. But with that being said, since I am a brand ambassador now for Kiara Sky, I will be earning a small commission from any purchases that you guys make, either through my affiliate link or my discount code. As always, my discount code is nailed by Brandy10, and that will save you money off your Kiara Sky purchases. I do know though that when they are having sales or items are already discounted, like the specific Flex Gel Bundle you won't be able to use my discount code because you're already getting a percentage off but if you do still want to support me it would really mean a lot to me if you would shop the Kiara Sky website through my affiliate link because even if you don't use my code but you're making a purchase through my affiliate link I still will earn a commission from that and of course that helps me out so much and it really means a lot to me if you do make a purchase through my link. Okay. 
once I had all of the nail art on and everything was all cured, I am now taking step number four, which is the glossy top coat, applying that to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video. I know I'm just now getting around to saying this and we're almost finished with the nail set, but since I didn't say it yet, if you are enjoying and haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, it really helps me out a lot, and if you're feeling generous, be sure to leave a comment below. I always love reading you guys' comments. So now that I had the top coat cured, I took my absolute favorite cuticle oil, the rose scent from Kiara Sky. I applied that to nourish my cuticles and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of these nails. I love them. They remind me of like a fairy glass garden. I don't know, that's just the type of vibe that I'm getting from these nails. Like I said, I did do my thumb as a Instagram reel. If you don't follow me over there, my Instagram is always linked down below and it is Nailed by Brandy. Definitely go follow me if you are not. I do post some other content over there and you can check out some shorter different nail tutorials or just see different nail tutorials that I don't post over here on Instagram. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video, the overall process of the nail set. If you do have any questions about the flex gel that I may not have answered, like is it sticky or anything like that, please let me know down below in the description box. And because I asked is it sticky, I do want to verify that honestly I didn't feel like the product was sticky. I was able to roll it, stretch it, um, play with it a little bit, and it wasn't like sticking to me to where like I was feeling like I couldn't take it off and put it back into the container. Overall, I think the consistency and the quality of the product is top tier like every other single Kiara Sky product. But I really love the Fle Flex Gel. I will be using it more in the future. Let me know if you are going to purchase the Flex Gel, if you have already purchased the Flex Gel. And also let me know if you want me to try it doing the 3D Chrome Trend again. I do want to try it again, but honestly, I'm a little scared. But I know this product is going to work so much better and just kind of help me out a little bit. But here are just the finishing end shots. Everything I used and mentioned will be down below in the description box in case you do want to purchase anything along with my discount code and affiliate link. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.